Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Get ready, today's a fiery full body workout. There are two blocks of work today. The first block is gonna have 15 moves. We're gonna be doing 40 seconds of full out effort with a 15 second transition. This is one time through. I want you to give me all that you can. Go for that moderate to heavy weights. And believe me, the first time that you do the workout, you might be like, okay, I'm gonna figure this out. And then second time you come back, you do a little bit heavier or you go for that a little bit extra challenging move. The second block is gonna have 22 moves, 30 seconds of effort with a 10 second transition. They're gonna be quick transitions, so you need to be listening to what the next move is. I'm gonna be using a little bit on the lighter side, so five, eight, and 10 will be my weight sets. Those moves are gonna be combining, again, some strength and cardio. That first block is a lot of compound moves. It's gonna stoke your metabolism so that you become this burning machine. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Make sure you click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. If you're looking for more amazing workouts, longer workouts, don't miss out. Click that join button below. Roll your shoulders back, find some space, we're gonna warm up. Set that intention, right? Mindfulness, the more you can connect to the moves, the more you're gonna get out of this, especially because this is one and done, so you gotta give me all that you can. Are you guys ready? We are so ready. Roll the shoulders back, start to arm circle, up and back, brace the core. Now, as we go through this, start to make the movement just a little bit faster, a little bit more reach, brace your core. Open and close the arms. And we can go with the beat of the music here. Because we got music on today. Woo! We're gonna lunge back, right leg, reach up, and switch. So my weight selection, I'm gonna be going up to the highest is 20s, my lowest will be fives. Big reach up there, bending both knees in your lunge. We're gonna be doing a good morning, hands come on the hips, drop the chest flat, and then give me a squat. You can open the feet up wider. In a good morning, I want my spine to be long, my knees a little bit bent, warming up that low back, hamstrings. When you hit toward, pull the belly up and in, lengthen through that torso. We're gonna lateral lunge, and just shift over to the other side. So open up the legs wide down, lift up to center, take your time, oh, we like the beat though, right, this is not all of a sudden you find it, and one great thing about the workout, it's all standing, we will be upright the whole time, alternate knees, arms are long, pull it down. Use your breath. It's going to be exhale as the knee comes up. And then you can go a little bit faster here. I might not be right on the rhythm here. I just don't need to go too fast yet. Getting ready for a march or a jog. You determine where you want to be. Light on your feet if you're marching. Make sure you're using your arms. Core is braced, eyes are up. Open up, give me a little spinal twist. ready for the first move. It is a squat, holding the weight up at the chest, rise up, and then give me a bicep curl where we drop the weight and then bring it back up to the shoulders.
I'll be using 15 pounds. Open up your feet. Hold that squeeze. Drop your squat. Rise up, lower, and then squeeze and hold. In your bicep curl. Make sure you're constantly squeezing at the top as you go into your squat. In a squat, sit back, I stay up, push into those heels. When you come up and you hold a little bend in the knees, when you do your bicep curls, I'll turn to the side, right? Drop, squeeze. Now I'm so tired. your eyes up. We got a lunge with bicep curl. I'm going to keep this weight. Turn to Catherine. Right leg moves back. Right arm gives me a bicep curl. Other arm just hangs out by the side. Chin is up. Lunge and curl. I'm going to do an upturn in my curl. Shifting back when I go into my lunge. So ears stay over, hips, eyes are looking out in front, and really solid foot, that leg that stays there, that's really strong, press through the whole foot, control the curl up. And this is when you want to check in, hey, is that weight enough for me? Yeah, all right, switch it. Roll the shoulders back, length of the torso. You got left arm, left leg moving. Open your feet up. Back lunge and curl. Again, I'm gonna do an upturn, fist to shoulder. And I'm keeping my eye gaze looking out in front. It's gonna keep your alignment of your spine. Good drop in that lunge. We're going to be doing an overhead extension next. Grab a moderate load for those overhead extensions. I'm gonna use your 12s. The weights are gonna be up at the top. Drop down, press it up. Ooh, watch your hair, my hair just got out. <laughs> Is your hair good? All right, bend the elbows about 90, and then all the way up to straight. How low do you go? All right, you can go past 90, totally okay. Know your elbow joint. So my elbows go wide, and then they press in. Inhale, exhale. Chorus tight, softness in your knees. Great job, lateral lunge. I'm just gonna use an eight pound weight. That's all that I'm gonna use here. Lateral lunge, actually a 10. Lateral lunge and raise. Opposition here, so arm goes one direction, leg goes back. So you're making kind of an X or a diagonal line. Inhale, exhale. Other arms just kind of hanging out, helping you with some balance. You can always keep the foot on the floor. It's like a little swing with the arm. You feel that? And push your leg back. Great job. So when you're doing that, opposition, right? We're reaching in two different directions here. So my leg is lifting a little bit to the back of that room towards the garage doors. I stay up. 
I'm gonna go to 15. Try some press back for three. And then I pull myself up for the upright row. Open your feet up. Push back for three. Straight up, straight arm press back. Three, two, one. Upright row, calf raise. relax for a moment. Make sure when you step back and lunge, you have a good base. Long and strong in that arm. Same thing in the torso. Oh, yes. Nice job, you guys. You guys did awesome. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna catch your breath. You're gonna go ahead, get some water. Make sure you do have three or five pound weights that you have with you because the second block has got a 30-10. We're gonna go for more intensity. We're gonna throw in some cardio, you guys. Let's do this. Know what it needs today. Ladies, are you ready? Are you at home ready? First move, squat with that rotation press. Alternate arms. Open the feet up a good amount. I do have a little turn out. Eyes are up, core is braced. Are you ready? Shake it out. Squat, right arm. Press and rotate. Inhale, exhale. You 
go at your pace. Again, drop as low as you can, and then press it up. We do have a tricep kickback next with a tap. You can be slow or fast. We're going to kind of tempo up on that one. I'm going to stay with 10. Roll the shoulders back, drop the chest slightly. Be a little bit in that narrow position here. Right leg, tap back, let's go. Tap, tap, kick. Look out in front. Don't swing too much, more to the back. Light feet. Roll your shoulders back a little bit here. Tighten your elbows to your ribs. We got a back lunge, swing front, keeping tense for me. As I lunge back, I swing the weight to the front. Right leg lunge. Swing. Shoulder height. Keep your feet separated. Eyes are up. Ooh, lots of core. You feel it? Ooh. Reverse fly. I'm going to drop to eight. Two weights. Grab your weights. Eight. Right arm flies. Left leg stays on the floor. Right leg is up. Just the right arm. You okay? Right arm. The other arm is going to help you stabilize a little bit more. And the leg is up. Squeeze a little bit of your booty. Nothing to look at out here. Right? Nobody's falling, right? the other leg. Roll your shoulders back. Lots of backside work in here today. Drop the chest. Other arm. Out. Try to keep the same pace you did on the other arm. When I fly, it comes up to about shoulder height. Wrist stays straight. Eyes look down. So butt is lifted on that standing where the leg is up. Is a squat, squat, jump, weight or no weight. I'm gonna keep my eights. You can do this without weight, you can do this without jumping. Feet just shoulder width apart. One squat, squat, jump. When you land, it's a land toe heel. Jumping jacks, where the arms go up, and then big outs. Great job. No weight. Go okay back there with the weights. Up, out. Big arms, slam it down. Wait on the next move. We got a scissor with a lunge. A little five scissor with a lunge. You can just do step back lunges if you want to. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Whichever leg you choose is good for you. Usually the outside foot stays. Inside foot's gonna lunge back. One dumbbell. I'm gonna go for my eight slams. Turn to the right. 
Go up, turn to the left. Inhale, exhale. Pivot those feet from right side to left side. Up and over that head. Crunch it down.
Come on, open your feet up. Toes forward, press through the outside of your foot. When you drop in your squat. Great job. We're clapping underneath the knee. Hop or not. We're good to go. Oh yeah. Right knee up. Left knee. Still work hard right here. Big arms. Next move, I'm gonna go to my fives. Hold the sumo, punch you. Come on. Open the legs up. Punching right, left, staying low. Oh, I'm gonna go eights. All right, turn out your heels from your hips. Eyes are up, core is tight. Pull your elbow back and then push one arm forward. Opposition here, right? It's like I'm pulling and pushing. You get more out of it. Push your knees back. Eyes are up. I'm gonna use my 15 behind my head. Lateral lunge, knee twist. You can do this with no weight. Step out, pop the knee up, twist to it. Step out, twist. In that lateral lunge, sink back. I kind of go a little bit to the back corner of my back. And then I rotate. Weight is optional here. section here, especially your low back. Keep your left hand in the center of your body. Take your right arm 
Open it up and look to it. Press down through that bottom arm and open up through the top arm. Maybe lean a little bit forward. Switch that arm. Do that again, a little bit more tension here, a little lean to the front, so you're into the sides of the feet, not too much into the heels, and switch. Both hands go down, half lift, hands on the shins, lift the chest up, bend the knees, turn the feet out, roll up. Right leg is going to lunge back, but straight leg. Push forward and then push the heel back. Now what I want you to do is pull yourself up, reach the arms by your ears. Bend the knee. It doesn't have to touch the floor, but tuck your tailbone and push your hips to us. Look up. Step it in. How's your balance today? Quad stretch. Heel to butt. Step it down, switch into the lunge. So straight leg back first, drop the chest. Press through the heel, push away from the thigh, and then reach it up. So I'm going to pull open my heart, and then we can bend the knee. Tuck the tailbone, get that hip flexor, open up. Quad stretch, balance. Take your right leg, step it back behind you. IT band, side stretch. If you want to grab your wrist, push the hips to us, open up through the side. Release, try the other side, IT band. Step it back, reach up. and wide here. Turn your front leg to Carol. Triangle. Push away from the floor. Open up your heart. Reverse this. Reach it up. And then drop down your chest. Pull it in for pyramid. Turn your back foot slightly. Turn to the front to open up. Roll it up. Give me triangle. Reverse that triangle. Reach it up. Reach it back. Turn towards that side and pull in the back foot for pyramid. wide so you can sumo squat. If you can, walk them in as much as you can, keeping your butt down as low as possible. Push those knees out. All you got to do is straighten your legs out, nose to the knees. Do that again. Get some mobility in your hips. Straighten it out. Let's do one more. Push it out. Straighten it. Step it in, roll it up. Woo. Big inhale, check it with yourself, reach it up. Pull it into your heart, touch that skin. Big inhale here, and let it out. You did amazing, yes, oh my gosh. That was so much fun. Super effective, Carol. Thank you, Jen. Everybody's got a good sweat. Thank you, Catherine. I hope you got your sweat on. Again, I hope you enjoyed that standing strength workout. 
Do this workout two, three times a week if you want to build some muscle, you guys. Great workout to incorporate strength and cardio, all those elements to bring you an amazing body. If you enjoyed this, thumb it up, comment below, share it with a friend. Hey, check out the membership, you guys. We got lots of great content. I go live with these guys. You help to create the workouts. Check it out. Join membership if you don't see it on your phone. It's on your PC. We'll see you at the next workout. Take care. Ooh, fix yourself too, right?